Hey guys, a quick little bit of information about burn proof gear and their suppressor covers. So I've got a grip and armament Recce 5 Mod 3. It's a 5.56 can. It is 6.2 inches long and uh, I needed a cover for it because I didn't want to keep burning my legs on it. So I really like the design of burn proof gear. There's plenty of other videos about the design of it. Uh, but I ran into a problem which is not their fault uh, but something that maybe people want to be aware of. So originally I bought the medium cover. Uh, the medium cover is designed for, uh, well, I guess light use. Um, like if you're zeroing your gun out on the range or shooting a couple of rounds at a time, maybe precision rifle type stuff, it's probably fine for that. Uh, but in a class, I basically killed it. Um, I wasn't doing mag dumps or anything crazy. That's what the, the heavy version is for. But um, I would shoot maybe 40, 45 rounds in four or five minutes. Uh, in a shoot house or, uh, or during some of the range evolutions and uh, the heat was enough to basically um, not melt the elastic but you can see that the elastic strap here especially like when you look at that it is completely toast uh, the heat just killed it so it, it completely lost all its stretch um, and what happened was once it kind of lost its ability to hold on to the can uh, the can slipped forward. So this was actually all the way back almost against the barrel. Uh, sorry, the cover slipped forward. And when the cover slipped forward, it slipped way forward, uh, basically the, uh, the exit port on the suppressor. And then the little uh, flash suppression cuts or whatever, you can see how it actually, the gas is actually cut the, uh, the elastic cord there. Uh, so once that happened, it, you know, just, it's basically done. Um, Again, this wasn't really designed for what I was doing with it. Um, I thought, well, I'm not doing mag dumps, I'm just doing a class, but it turns out it was a little too much for the medium, uh, mainly for the elastic. Um, also, this is the seven inch version. The can is 6.2 inches. They make a 6.5 inch version, uh, but the website did recommend to go with the seven inch. Um, so and even though it's still pretty good in the back, that, that extra bit sticking out there really got just eaten up by the, uh, by the gases there. Uh, you can see it just completely cut through it. So uh, I bought the heavy version, which is, and this is the six and a half inch version. So I'm going to stick that, that on here and uh, see if it fits a little more flush. All right, so <clears throat> I put the heavy can, uh, suppressor cover on my can. Uh, I did something a little bit differently though. So the heavy version uses this Kevlar rope and then the last like six inches or so, it switches to the elastic. So I noticed uh, a lot of the damage to the elastic was on the forward section of the can, not here in the back, uh, where basically where the mount is. So I flipped it around so that the elastic set portion, instead of tying it up at the front, uh, I tied it at the back. So I basically put, I think this is the back, uh, toward the muzzle end. And then as I wrapped it around, and then the elastic is just in the back a couple inches. So that should protect it from the heat that was really killing it. Uh, also, it's a heavier duty can um, wrap itself, so that should also help keep the elastic safe. Uh, and as you can see, the six and a half inch, I've still got clearance so I can, I can thread it onto my mount. Uh, and it keeps it almost flush with the end, so I don't think I'll get any flame cutting from, the, uh, from those ports. But I'll keep an eye on it. Um, but yeah, I'll uh, shoot a bunch of rounds through it and see how it is. Uh, if, if, it, if it works out, I, ho I, think, I think it will. Uh, I'm going to grab another one for my Surefire can because my Surefire 762 Mini is the same length. It's 6.2 inches. So uh, anyway, uh, so if you have a can and you're going to use it for more than just like a hunting rifle or, you know, precision type stuff, and you're going to be shooting a decent amount of rounds through it, get the heavy version. Um, I think that's going to work out a lot better because the medium version, even though I added the, uh, the additional heat protection, this... Uh, so I added this to it, but it's not the same as the one on the heavy. Um, this is like a fire retardant sleeve, and the heavy version, it's under there. Uh, it's heavier, it's about twice as thick, and the inside has this like foil kind of looking liner, uh, which probably helps keep the heat away from the, uh, the elastic and, and the outside better. So anyway, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's where I'm at on that. Uh, once I get some rounds through it, I'll, uh, I'll show you guys um, if there's any damage or, or if everything works out. Later.